one of two public hearing items we have. Our first item is REZ 2024-15, it's Lots Wind Farms, LTD, 62 acres, uh, it's Lock Laurel and Cheryl Palmer. It is currently RA, the request is for R1 and RA, and it will have well in second. Mr. Dillon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. Again, this is a request on these two parcels here from RA to R1. You'll note the R1 pattern surrounding this, moving back to the north. That R10 portion on Rita Circle, uh, while it is R10, those are actually one acre lot sizes. And the blue line you see there is just the boundary of the urban service area. This is the rural residential character area, which does promote R1. And you see the two parcels in question here. This is the 62 acre portion, as noted, with some wetlands and again, groundwater recharge. And thus, any uh, lot size of R1 would actually qualify 1.25 acres. This is the proposed 62 acres out of the total almost 180 acres. The remainder there in white will remain RA if approved. And again, this was a conceptual layout provided by the applicant. You'll note here in the middle, lot 11 is actually an old cemetery that's being delineated. It would have to be noted as not suitable for development. Some of the lots along the northern portion there, lots 24 through 29, given some of the wetlands, but also go under uh, scrutiny by the Department of Public Health, and this, therefore this is just a conceptual lot layout, but not something to be bound by. This was just proving that one acre lots could fit more or less within the given boundaries of this. Again, the Planning Commission did not meet at their August meeting, so there is no recommendation from the Planning Commission, but the TRC did consider the request and the available factors, including the back lack of utilities, groundwater recharge, and surrounding land uses, and did recommend R1 approval. Question for Mr. Dillard. Mr. I might add also, uh, due to the situation that the Planning Commission was unable to hear this due to not having a quorum, uh, the recommendation is for the meeting to table this request until the first meeting in October. Okay. Good. Is there a way we can be notified of something like this? It's going to be tabled. Um, ahead of time, yeah, we have to think. Well, I mean, the request. The, well, the request is coming from us, not not from necessarily from the applicant themselves. We noticed, we realized that because the planning commission had not there, they didn't have a the quorum. So then, to meet the advertising requirements, then it was going to have to be re advertised. Right, I understand that. But the uh, public interested in this. Are they notified of this or are they just come up here and oh let's take <clears throat> Mr. Chairman if I could sure um when we we and we did this with the planning commission as well when we've had citizens that have expressed interest in a particular case so we have their contact information um then we do make an effort to reach out either through email or text or phone call to let them know um, or we let the if there's an attorney involved we'll let the attorney know so that they can let their clients know so we it's really impossible to get to everyone because sometimes this happens on very short notice but we do make effort based on the contact information that we have to let them know so that people don't come down to a meeting for nothing could it be on our website is that what you're talking about so we can if a meeting has been canceled like the planning commission has then we can do that but we can't to commissioner griner's point we can't do that related to a um, anticipated tabling because we're not sure from a staff perspective if that's the choice that you guys are actually going to make so we have to wait so we can notify them that it that it possibly could be but to put out a public notice sometimes that we would probably be crossing the line because you all have not made that decision but to Paige's point the ultimate decision to table is yours uh, whichever way you decide to go so it's it's decision is left up to you to table or here and move on. We will go through the talk. Did what I understood correctly, will we go through the public hearing portion of it or not necessarily do that? Not necessarily. We okay. It. So we won't be doing that if we just decide right in front of the table. Well, and I will say that when the planning, when that day of the planning commission, I guess, knew in advance that they weren't going to have a quorum, I mean, I probably got four different notifications from different sources. So whoever was responsible Planning and zoning works with public information to 
question is, what is the uh, what's the applicant think about the possibility of this being paid for the planning commission? For this particular case, I did receive an email late last night, and I forwarded it to you earlier this morning from. Uh, their attorney, they were going to request tabling till the September 24th meeting anyway. They had members of both the Lock Laurel Club to the south and Lockwind Farms that had additional questions. Not that there was much disagreement, but they just wanted more time for information. So the applicant themselves, in this case, was going to request tabling till the September 24th meeting uh, just to allow more time for their members to better understand uh, the position. So I believe that. Can, can we talk about that? Why? I don't have anything in writing in my brief conversations with Mr. Pierce. I believe there were just some concerns about this process. There are people from outside Lowndes County who have gone through a similar process in their areas and it is slightly different. Um, one of the persons contacted me was another planner and they do a much more in-depth environmental review prior to a rezoning case. Um, I did tell them that we have not received any construction plans or anything like that, or we would actually go into that level of review at this time. This mm -hmm. is simply a zoning request. So there was some concerns from an environmental standpoint um, by one of the applicants, and that's as much as I know. Does the lake have anything to do with the environmental concerns? That was mentioned, yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions or comments? All right, we'll move on.